Good morning, everyone. So first of all, like welcome to this demo session for the RPA Work Fusion training, which I, which is going to cover a, like a tool based approach for an RPA. We we know like we have various tools from which we can perform the RPA of uh, operations and uh, automate many things. But like Work Fusion is like one of the tool which I am going to cover today, uh, which has like its own advantages and uh, features. So. I would like to like introduce myself. Like I am working in this RP and DPM solution from last three and a half uh, years. Like I have worked with many tools like Work Fusion. I have worked with Pega and Blue Prism in like various domains as well as like have completed like more than uh, around uh, six plus use case automations till date for like four clients or major clients in like various domains like insurance, FMCG, and banking. Also, like I have experienced on uh, automating like uh, various third-party app applications like SAP, Salesforce. Apart from that, several uh, desktop applications as well. That will be like company-specific applications. So, moving forward, like what I am going to cover through this demo. So, it will be a basic overall like high-level intro towards the work fusion. What is work fusion? What are its components? What are uh, like major major features which which keeps like Work Fusion separate from other tools and technologies. What are like new things which are coming in Work Fusion in the coming future? Apart from that, like what all other features Work Fusion offers which we are not getting while uh, uh, using other tools? And what will be the prerequisite? So basically, like uh, in from the slide, if you can see, so the the scope for the demo will be like the prerequisite, like which we need before uh, starting the Work Fusion, that you should have knowledge regarding in the prior. Okay, so apart from that, like the introduction to work fusion, apart from that, various components from which the work fusion is formed. So apart from that, introduction to the web harvest tag and their API. So uh, we will go deep, more deep in this. Like this is a basic development thing. So like what is work with their APIs? What are the web APIs? Okay, apart from that, the introduction, like the ODF framework, which we, uh, which uh, work fusion has recently, like in past year, that work fusion has introduced in 10.x version. So basically the, uh, the high level I am going to provide for all these things. So moving forward, like what is work fusion and what, uh, what all things we are going to cover throughout this course? So basically, like we are going to cover like what is work fusion and like various architecture of work fusion, various components of work fusion, these all things. Apart from that, like we have manual tasks, like the workspace, queue management, how the how we can customize the manual task. Each of this that we are going to cover throughout this course. Apart from that, business process. So what is business process? What are the bot configuration? How we are going to deploy it in the control tower? What is control tower? In fact, like these are the things which we are going to cover. Business process flow, like the flow to a diagram, how we are going to prepare the flow diagram in the work control tower. Apart from that, like how various components which we can use to prepare the business process flow. Like there are several other components like the S3 and ETL forms, how we can uh, work with them. OCR like optical character recognition, which we use to like basically to uh, read characters from the documents, basically from the digital or non non digital documents. That how we are going to do that. We will go through uh, this in this uh, course. Apart from that, like how we can use Work Vision Studio for our development. That is another part. Apart from that, RP recorder. Although like RP recorder is not like much used in the industry part. So. We are going to, as a part of this course, we are going to see like how, how we can use RP recorder. Okay, so next thing is like the web, web harvest components. Basically, like what are the web harvest tags? What are the web harvest plugins which we are, which Workfusion has introduced, which we are going to use and how we are going to use and several part uh, of the work web harvest components as well. And like equivalent APIs, Java APIs, which uh, web harvest for the web harvest uh, we, uh, we got, okay. Working with data stores, like for basically like for how we are going to store data in the data while doing the automation and how we are going to perform operations on that, on that data that we are going to cover with this uh, data stores. Apart from that, like Groovy scripting, like Groovy plays a vital role in like work vision automation. So we are going to cover several basic features of the Groovy as well. Like 
what is groovy and how we call the functions from groovy and everything in this we are also going to cover like the mcv structure or bcv structure we can say you know okay board configuration bundle so we are going to cover that as well as a part of this course like uh, we are also going to like see like various uh, web automation things like selenium we are going to see as a part of web and auto desktop automation auto it tool for inspecting various doc desktop application dex various components of elements of the desktop application how we are going to part uh, like uh, find the x path how we do the x path finding apart from that uh, various ways of finding the x path relative x path how we can find the most uh, like reliable relative x paths when it comes to the web automation like we have we are nowadays we are seeing the react js uh, websites right so uh, react based application so like there uh, we, we cannot find like x path with the ids and all so we are so going to see like most reliable relative x paths how we can find so we are going to cover odf framework as well as a part of this so like nowadays uh, it is a trend in the work vision uh, while the uh, work vision development like everybody each and every company and each and every client is like asking for the odf framework okay so the, the one should know the odf framework so without this the work vision is like considered outdated so this is also one of the major part like we are, which we are going to cover uh, as a part of this course apart from that there will be uh, some more small and uh, additional topics maybe which we need to cover like selenium we have apache poe like we have we need to cover this api uh, s3 api we have like to access in order to access the s3 uh, we will cover more like what is s3 and how we are going to uh, access the s3 apart from that design patterns several design patterns uh, like uh, page object like i have mentioned apart from that like we i also I will also cover the factory one factory uh, factory design pattern apart from that uh, single turn and which, whichever is required while the train i will provide more info on that okay so these are some of the additional topics some of the most reliable resources for the work vision that I have found till date is like the documentation which work vision have provided and the automation academy basically these are the two major features the url is in the deck so projects i am going to cover for this is like the amazon did uh, product tail fetching part so this is like uh, we have an excel and like it's this is almost a like both the things are like the industry standard uh, use cases okay so basically like both the things are the industry standard like uh, which will cover major part of the thing here like in the deck most like many features are not been like described so we will go through them while developing the projects okay so there will be like amazon product fetching like reading excel file and searching for the product and fetching best prices for the product and preparing the document and putting it in somewhere in the shared drive and or sending the mail apart from that uh, the next will be like a non web based automation but it will be like background processing kind of thing so parts we have we uh, suppose we have a share file which is in a shared uh, shared some in somewhere in the shared drive we need to read that file and we need to share, parse it or suppose we have a file which is in the s3 that we need to read and uh, process the content and then we have to send it uh, in an attachment uh, we have to mail it in uh, mail it with an attachment okay so these kind of projects we will uh, be going to do the while this uh, during this training okay so basic system requirement will be like you should have a good internet connection basically uh, we uh, you should have your own laptop uh, okay so we, uh, the basic requirement will be like windows 7 500 gb hard disk and 16 gb ram and four core cpu processor okay nowadays like what workfusion has done is it is basically it has launched a, a cloud based application but it will be a chargeable one it is not free so what they have given is like they have given a free local uh, system installation file as well so uh, we are going to use like that local part so we are going to install uh, the workfusion uh, workfusion uh, so uh, cloud as a part of our local system so every operations will be we are performing locally in our system so we were, we are going to have a mock interviews uh, one on one mock interviews uh before you will be giving a job uh, you are applying for a job and the certifications which we are going to cover is like rp specialist power user and rp developer okay there are many other uh, certifications as well like a data analyst uh, work fusion data analyst work fusion ml engineer both the certification is the next is on the next level 
after this you are also going to get a course completion certificate from the mind magics so this will be just a kind of a soft certificate you are going to get with a like a, a unique certification id so let's start with the demo part okay so i will be starting with a topic it will be more like a introductory session while going on a training part it will be like more on a practical basis not on more than uh, like on a uh, theory basis okay so basically like industry wants more hands on experience like you should know more like about the about the like the core part not the theory part it's okay like everyone can get the theory part theory theoretical knowledge but also the practical knowledge is must and as a part of this training session it will more like a non spoon feeding some of the things that i am going to give you like uh, that you can search okay that you can also search and find the solution if you are not finding it i will be providing you the best solution from myself okay so basically like uh, starting first like prerequisite uh, for the work fusion training so what will what are the basic prerequisite for the work fusion training okay so i am opening my notepad so prerequisite for the work fusion training what are the prerequisite so one should have knowledge about the java basically like what we are using is like java 8 as a market standard as of now so java 8 one should have the knowledge regarding the java 8 part basic knowledge of the selenium framework is like will be an added advantage okay basic knowledge of uh, groovy if you have that will also be an added advantage for you but both the things like i am going to cover but not in that depth because more we will be focusing on the work fusion part how we are going to do in work fusion okay, okay. so basics of like groovy okay apart from that these are the basic like prerequisite which we we are going to need so apart from that like what we are going to do is like installation of work fusion now installation of work fusion so installation of work fusion like we are going to install it locally installation will be locally installation will be on the local desktop okay what we can do is like for installation work fusion we have a cloud developer so this is the download link so from here you can download and install it so it is a basic normal installation process okay so it will be basic normal installation process so you will be getting like work fusion installation uh, intelligent automation cloud developer okay so after installing you will be getting this so as a part of this you will be getting like an all the all the various components which we are going to use for the development so we have like control tower and works fusion workspace i will be covering this like in more detail while covering the comp various component rp worker it is basically a thread part like and ocr okay as an a uh, part of this we are also going to get like workspace rapid mq file storage nexus and secret world i will be covering all the components in uh, detail when i will be going through that okay so now the next topic will be i will be providing the introduction to work fusion like basically what is the work, what is work fusion and uh, what all advantage it gives above like the other tools like we have in market like blue prism we have automation academy we have ui path we have so what advantage it gives to us so like basically like what work fusion is like it is basically a orchestrator tool moreover it is a orchestrator tool like everything like we are going to do everything in java okay like the coding part we are going to do in java okay so the now the thing is like basically what rpa is like we are what we are doing is like we are replacing what humans are doing one by one manually and we are making it more like automating we are automating that work okay so suppose a work which is done like suppose a form we are getting and it is being filled by a human over a period of time 
like uh, he need to fill at uh, suppose he need to uh, fill it at a certain interval okay for different purpose or for some uh, different thing okay so what we need is like we have written the code in java to automate okay but now the thing is like how we can run that code on a particular uh, schedule so that part is what workvision provides and several apart from that like workvision has several other features also that workvision has exposed like it has given its own ml model to for the machine learning purpose like in order to fetch details uh, like for the extracting details from particular pages or images or something okay so other features also workvision has given but like primarily what it is it is a orchestrator tool with several other capabilities okay so now what makes workvision depend okay so now in a market like if you go we have majorly like autom rpa tools as a as a like in based on dotnet okay so as per my like knowledge this is like one of the tool best tool that we have for java okay for java developers it is a best i uh, best uh, java uh, like rpa tool that have come with come up. and i think on based on java we have very less tool for rpa development as well that makes it unique okay so this is the main feature like that makes it unique like it is a basically a java tool and the other tools like if you see like workfusion uh, if you have seen like ui path or blue prism or automation anywhere or any other tool basically it is a that those are like majorly like a drag and drop kind of tool so developer are not going to code anything they are just going to write business logic there if it comes with a, a like a drag and drop basis it will be more like a a reserve functionalities that they that those tools can provide okay so they are we cannot customize many things we cannot customize after a line but when while working with work is we are coding everything from scratch we are writing our own code uh, we are using our own way of writing uh, automation code okay so we can have multiple thing we can use as many as third party apis uh, third party uh, uh dependencies or apis which we are going to use uh which we need to use we can use anything there are many ways of doing a single operation okay that flexibility is that like workfusion provides us okay so these these are major main features like why we are going to cover workfusion and before like from the past like one year like we have before we are using like a uh, workfusion as an as what like local installation servers okay like we have they, we have a server which we have installed on on premise servers but now as the technology advances like there is a generation of cloud so workfusion has also moves it moves as the its application to cloud now so we have like a now cloud development uh, environment as well so that is one or in workfusion are also giving us like many new functionalities when it comes to ml part so most mature part is like workfusion's ml model is one of the main advantage of workfusion by workfusion like various clients are preferring workfusion so whenever it is coming toward the machine learning part workfusion is like giving us a major feature so nowadays like workfusion like has given like we have several uh, uh, basically like models which workvision has provided like the uh, the ml models like for information extraction as well as classification okay so as a part of this workvision has also given us like auto ml sdk part which we can con with like it is basically nothing more than like configuring ml model as per our customization okay so we can do that part apart from that now is workvision has also provided like a python pro ml model deployment like we can create our own model in 10.2.x so workvision what workvision has provided like python uh, enablement also so that makes it uh, unique okay and more features it provides okay now what are the various components workvision provides us so okay so here it is the thing okay so basically what is workfusion is basically what workfusion contains of these three things basically the services which workfusion provide the app workfusion application and the data how it is organizing the data okay so basically work workfusion provides three applications to us that is like a control tower that is a web based application 
workspace that is again a web based application and a workstation studio that is our desktop application basically okay going through this one by one so what is control tower control tower is basically a, a ui interface that of using workstation uh, okay so basically all the features we can access through this control tower through this uh, the control tower and uh, i will open the control tower once for you maybe uh, so so while it is getting started so uh, we will move forward so control tower basically it is a ui based uh, application and uh, we have several features which we can access through this everything like almost everything we can access for fusion is through this control tower okay so now moving for the work workspace what is workspace basically there might be a condition like we need to move something like for the human intervention while automating okay either it is a review part or something that we need to move for the human part okay then comes the uh, like when this is when like work work workspace come in picture okay basically it is a queue uh, like manual task queue management uh, application okay so everything that comes in the for the human intervention comes falls in the workspace okay so uh, as a part of this uh, uh, like work vision training we are also going to cover like how we can uh, like there there is like predefined structure work vision has also provided like for the manual task okay so we can customize that ui as well as per our need so how we can do that part is also like what i am covering i am going to cover as a part of this work vision training so here comes like we uh, we got another like prerequisite so one should have knowledge regarding javascript okay although i will be covering the basic part of the javascript uh, uh, like if you need to like uh, do more advancement and more like unique ui or more customization you should have the knowledge of javascript okay so this this is like what work vision workspace is like so work workspace we have like two major function it is like a manual task uh, queue management and manual task processing okay now work vision studio comes in picture so now work vision uh, studio is like for the developers for us basically like if we want to code something how we can do that so it is like a work vision studio through which we can write our code and deploy it to control tower basically work vision is the customization of eclipse like we use for the java development okay so if you want to see work vision studio as well so i have work vision studio i'm going to open it so meanwhile it is opening is it like the control tower is open okay so meanwhile the control tower is being open open so various services which work vision has given us like the odf this is the open development framework that work vision has recently introduced in like my past one year so a whole of the development we are going to use uh, going to use this odf framework apart from the bots uh, rpa bots like through which like we are going to perform the rpa operation ocr basically like to read the characters or the read the information from the scanned documents or the digital pdfs uh, like from the images so workflow like uh, how we are going to manage our workflow that is also one of the service that work vision has provided nexus repository is like for de deploying our code like jars basically like as a, as a java developer you must know like when we are going to develop uh, going to deploy uh, our java code onto the server we are going to either do, do it in jar file or on the jar file so basically for work vision we are going to do that with the jar files so we are going to de deploy those jars to the nexus repository from where like the control tower is interacting and uh, uh, reading the, the java code okay next thing is like the bep that is also another component that we will cover more, like more in deep when when it comes to uh, like in the future tutorial okay so now for the data management the next part is like the data management part so so now i think control tower is ready the studio is ready so meanwhile like the data for the data management okay so it has provided three main components for the data management okay for the secret vault one it has provided database and the object storage okay so what is secret vault basically 
okay so secret what is none other like for storing the credential things okay as you know secret uh, so secret uh, name also say said like secret so secret is like the privacy part so suppose whenever we are going to log in into an application we are not going to write the username and password within the code we are going to uh, store it in the secret world and from a secret world to like either with the web harvest the tags or with the api we are going to fetch the uh, credentials from the secret world and we are going to use in the code we are not going to expose it in the uh, code the credentials in the code it will be a severe like a critical uh, uh, bug for us if we are going to write the uh, credentials in the code itself initially we are going to do do that but later we as we move forward uh, during the training we are going to replace it with the api or with the web rest tags okay apart from like database so basically what it is using like our fusion is using my source of my ms sql server uh, okay for storing everything as a part of for storing data okay for as a part of an any rp business process so basically it is like a database itself you can say uh, we have tables in it we have uh, tables we have various we can create several columns everything we can upload data to that table using a control tower we are getting a feature in the control tower to access data stored directly using ui uh, we can also like install uh, ms sql server and we can configure uh, our data store data database inside the ms local ms sql server okay so that part we can do, we will be covering through this apart from that like when it comes to the work fusion terms uh, like dictionary database uh, whenever it comes to database database thing we are going to call it as a data store not as a database so work fusion has given us data as various data store plugins uh, i will be covering like what are plugins and what are like what are web harvest plugins so uh, work fusion has exposed work fusion uh, web harvest plugins for accessing the, the data store apart from that there will be a equivalent apis as well through which we can uh, access the data store and perform operations on the data store okay so basically now the object storage okay next object storage is basically like whenever we are going to store the json objects or different kind of xml objects or these kind of uh, storage also fusion has also provided us like this is a major things like when it comes to like when whenever like either we are going to save the responses responses from the uh, rest api or either when we are doing the ocr operation uh, then also we are uh, going to use it widely okay so this is basically like what a work fusion studio looks like okay it has some customization as for the work fusion it is basically eclipse if you have ever used eclipse so there will be a project structure so we are going to use okay so meanwhile uh, i will also show you like what all artifact we need to install okay so while using this okay that part we will cover then itself okay so when we are going to install it locally then we are going to see like how we are going to uh, use work fusion i'm facing some issue with the work fusion studio so let me restart it again maybe uh control tower okay meanwhile moving on to the next thing next topic uh, so what we have covered till that till time is like to site introduction to the work fusion and uh, various components of the work fusion. so now the thing is like what are web hours tags okay so as a part of this we have also like work fusion has also given us web hours context okay you are if you know java like you you must know like what is context context are like predefined variables that uh, work fusion has provided in order to act like access something okay so in a particular scope okay so web harvest context uh, tags and there this is the like basically documentation which work fusion has provided us so web harvest tags are none other than that like an html tag with several attributes okay it's are going to perform various operations so the work fusion has given us many web harvest tags as a part of this so we have call case for if and else condition config okay to write this will be the like the main root element for our bot configuration 
database to access the database now it is being re uh, replaced as a data data store okay so db param the various database par parameters we want to give uh, this is an empty okay in order to exit break the configuration file there are several things okay as a name says like we, we you can see like try and catch so basically try and catch for exception handling we can use X, if we want to convert xml to json we have a data data store plugin now uh, i have harvest text for plugins okay basically these are what we call processors are basically called the plugins which data data which work fusion has provided web harvest plugin if you can see the okay, documentation one by one so if we want to call any function okay we can directly call using the call a plugin okay so call we have a name we can provide the name and we can provide the parameter name if a function requires the parameter name we can provide it from here okay so this is what typical like calling looks like for a web address tag okay so you can uh, like now not now but as we proceed you will be like getting all the like how we can use and some of the things that you might also need to explore and some of the things that i am also going to tell you each and everything like we are going to cover as a part of this tutorial okay so like if you can see if you want to see like case like case is basically like an if else if and else condition so switch or case inside like we have uh, like this case so if inside case we have like if and the condition and the expression we can provide we can define the body like inside body if we want to call any java method or anything that kind of thing we can perform else and else body that is the thing if you can see an example like we have a variable defined we have defined a variable we have defined an expression x part expression so we can give like this contact me so we can give like case if the uh, contact dot to string is not equals to blank then we will give the contact name otherwise we will define it as we will uh, we are going to give a return back contact is not defined which is going to store in this contact mail so if you can see this is a nested calling basically we have used vardap function uh, vardap uh, plug in order to define a variable this uh, variable's value is going to set depending on this case so this is one of the way apart from that we have config like config will be the major like the initial like the i mean parent root element basically you, you can call okay uh, so the as a part of the bot configuration okay so we have database uh, database also as a plugin so we can provide the jdbc connection everything and it will and we can write a query and it will return a the result okay as per that so this is like what we have as a plugin moreover as a plugin so we have several plugin that we are going to use as a part of this so yeah we will be going to the each plugin one by one in the later in the more detailed tutorials okay so now the next thing is like moving forward we have so now the ap context part we have harvest context so uh, we uh, we have like work fusion has given us various predefined context in order to access if we want to have something like unique okay. so where there are various system context okay so system context is like sys is basically like stand for system so it is like if we use if where it will be equals to like it will replace it with backslash and that will be a next line uh, like this we, if we want to get the date then we have the we uh, if, uh, we use like this dot date function so we are going to get a date or time we are going to get the time we are going to use the date time with a format and we are going to it will return a date time the specific format these kind of objects which work in expose okay apart from that there are like a uh, system there are various like http objects as well like in order to that the client content length character string where status code if we have like hit a particular rest api what response we are getting it all those things apart from that we have log so in order to log basically it is uh, like what work fusion is using is like the slf4j okay uh, logger and it is going to log uh, on the control tower basically okay so we have this inside java code as well we are, we are going to use like this itself log dot info okay but uh, there will be a okay so for the first approach it will be a like a moreover uh, like inside the groovy file we are going to use on an xml file we are going to use through groovy but later we will as you move to the bcd structure we are going to use uh, uh, the java approach okay we need to pass uh, logger everywhere in the parameter constructor and then we need to use it okay 
so these are the things basically there are several other uh, context that we will be using and through this entire training part apart from that uh, now the next topic will be like what is odf like major like these are the side things more over more what i need to focus through this entire training will be the odf framework okay so odf will be like more odf is like a java way of doing basically it is a java development framework which work which i have introduced so it is java odf 1.0 and odf 2.0 basically 2.0 is still in more maturing phase so the market standard is as per the odf 1.0 that comes as a part of perfusion 10.x okay so we are going to use 10.1.x as of now so we have got 10.2.x as well but it is still not mature enough so it is not a stable uh, uh, stable version as of now so we are going to use 10.1.x uh, if uh, we got some stable version when we were covering that uh, uh, training in the trains i have during the training part i am going to cover the features of odf 2.0 as well like what we got and we will do some hands on also during that part but uh, moreover if we got a stable version i will uh, give you a more brief how to to work on 10.2.x okay uh, so basically what is odf like it is an open development framework okay so it is an open development framework that uh, work we have recently introduced uh, for like more like moving from the like more from the java ruby code like to the more java approach like it is replacing like replace uh, replacing the uh, web harvest tags with the api more it emphasize more on using the uh, api rather than using the work web harvest tag apart from that the major feature why work feature is uh, what odf includes is the feather framework okay so what is feather in the feather framework it is basically a de dependency injection thing okay so uh, now it comes in picture like what is dependency injection okay so dependency injection is basically like a so when it comes to dependency injection ioc comes in picture okay it comes in picture with the uh, with the uh, dependency injection so what is uh, ioc uh, version of control basically this version of control is nothing more than like a current like as the word define itself so in version of control is basically like till now what we are doing we are we are doing is like we are calling so we are calling an object from a call like this basically a caller is calling the object okay so just caller is calling an object like this suppose we have a class we have an interface a we have its implementation class is like class b implements so a okay so if we want to call class b then mostly like the best approach is like a a a is equals to new b what we are doing it so basically like we are injecting object here so who is injecting uh, object like it is the caller class which is injecting the object so now as a part of the inversion of control what it is like what we are we will be passing the class okay interface okay as for the beans configuration the framework will take care of injecting the dependency of initializing the object basically okay that is what like a dependency injection is it is now the framework task to inject the dependency for the class okay so uh, work feature has introduced this part as well uh, we have like several binding contexts it will initialize those contexts and it will inject it throughout the code okay so this is one of the major feature of the odf framework so apart from that we have like various ways of like we can uh, access the other database using our jdbc approach and apart from that we are going to as a part of this like we are going to use majorly a page object design pattern moreover like we will be keeping each function each page uh, functionality in a separate class like suppose we have a uh, four pages okay we are going to use, uh, automate four pages like we have login page we have statement page okay we have uh, something like an account uh, okay uh, we have like an setting page account setting page uh, we have profile management page okay so what we are going to do is like suppose login page we have uh, functionalities like enter 
यूजर नेम पासवर्ड एंड क्लिक ऑन सबमिट so all the things like we are uh, we are going to organize within a so login will be one class inside this we have we will be having basically three functions like we have a function for entering username password and click and some clicking on the submit part so basically we are going to use this login way so this this is the way like we are going to organize everything so basically like uh, we are going to initialize each web element through a web uh, like through an annotated manner inside a page object is using their page object design pattern okay so what we are going to use is like page object we are going to use object design pattern or we can also call that as facade design pattern okay facade design pattern we are going to use through this thing okay so now one one thing is this we are also going to see like uh, how we can uh, use the logger okay so how we can uh, use the s3 plugins api basically what we call api in order to interact with s3 basically like what s3 is okay so workfusion provides an s3 basically it is an amazon service cloud service for file storage basically okay it is for cloud storage okay so workfusion provide this service uh, workfusion provide this service to us so we can store our file uh, basically it is a cloud based uh, file directory so how we are going to access file from the s3 and uh, how we are going to read the content suppose uh, how many types of file we can create if we want to create a separate uh, how a bucket how we can create a bucket everything we are going to see as a part of this tutorial let's wait for some more time maybe so okay so apart from that now so odf framework we have seen like what odf framework is and basic structure like throughout the odf and main features what work odf framework has given us okay so these are the uh, like topics which i am going to cover today it will be like a good informative session for uh, you guys that is all from my side for today thanks for attending this demo if you have any queries you can uh, related to course and schedule and the cost and uh, payment options you can contact anytime on the info at the rate yeah, mindmagics.com this is the email id and uh, you can contact on uh, 924 Six double three three two four five, or if you are from US, uh, you can contact from nine one seven four five six eight four zero three. On these numbers, you can contact. Yeah, thank you. Have a good day.